Ange. It is a foggy morning, though, in northeast Wisconsin. So if you're heading out the door, make sure you take it slow. When will it clear up? Well, Pete has the details in our severe weather coverage. You know what? Things are actually getting better. Dense fog advisory was in effect up until a few minutes ago. Now it's been dropped for most of the areas here, all the way down to Manitowoc and Winnebago counties. Now areas to the south, Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County, and to the south still dealing with some fog. Now, just because there's not a dense fog advisory in effect, still visibilities are down to uh, about a mile, quarter mile in some locations. You can see some areas around Manitowoc still near zero visibilities and Wapaka near zero visibilities. So our high today will be 87. After the morning fog, we have a very warm and humid day and 87 for the high today, 88 tomorrow. Good day, Wisconsin Weekend Meteorologist Doug Higgins is out in the fog this morning, but uh, Doug, they, they have dropped the dense fog advisory and I can kind of see from looking at you through our camera here, kind of why. Yeah, it's kind of bright, isn't it? Yeah. yeah but it's a little hazy, so, uh, and I was checking out a lot of our weather cameras we have, of course, always available on fox11online.com, and some of the foggy areas, I've seen a little fog near Shawano, Ocano, and Sheboygan, so it's patchy in nature and kind of worse, again, well to the south, and that just means, hey, if you're traveling, it could be sunny and beautiful like it is right now, you go into a little lower dip maybe a river valley or some sort like that and then visibilities can drop like a rock and again it's just going to be most likely for the next hour or two where the worst of the driving will be so uh, take a little bit of time here's a couple of tips for you if you're out and about traveling this morning especially if you're going to be uh, south of Appleton give yourself a little extra time while traveling make sure you got your low beams on not your high beams and of course uh, always give yourself a good distance between you and the car in front of you but uh, things are starting to improve especially drastically here in Green Bay and I was rather surprised Pete that we we didn't see any more dense fog than we already have because winds are almost non-existent out. We've got brilliantly clear skies and we just turned out to be a hazy day in Green Bay. But again, need to watch out for that patchy fog. I'll yeah. throw it back to you. The factors were there and, and still a dense fog advisory for areas to the south. Thanks, Doug, from Fond du Lac and Sheboygan areas to the south. Still a dense fog advisory in effect until 9 o'clock this morning.